Howdy everyone, this is MopBot, and welcome back to episode number two of Conquest Reforged, where today we have a tutor house that was actually built in last episode, but we have it completed on the inside now. You walk up, and there is this archway entrance. We have these sort of sandstone-colored walls, along with those red brick floors. It's a color scheme that looks absolutely fantastic together. There's a whole lot of blocks that I've been playing around with. For instance, we have these coat hangers on the sides here along with some pretty cool paintings. That one in particular is absolutely fantastic. And then along with some pretty cool looking bookcases and many, many ways of lighting, which is absolutely fantastic. We have this candle in here with a flickering flame and even the candles actually at a diagonal. Love the level of detail in this mod. Very, very fun to play around with. You have that chandelier hanging down and some big vases over here. So based on the structure of the house, we have a staircase in the back here that goes up to the second layer. And behind that, we just got some random storage, again, with just a random candle there. And a kitchen back here, which we'll come back to. And swinging back around the corner, we have yet another staircase and some more storage underneath. Also with a bearskin rug, which is pretty neato. So anyway, let's look ahead at that kitchen, because this one was really fun to do. We've got foods, which is cool. Jams. We've got a cake there, some cheese, and I think that's some more cheese back there, or maybe a butter. That even could be bread, I'm not entirely sure. A wine rack below that, and then also some counters, shelving over here on the left. Even a wine glass is able to sit over on that table, which is super, super neat. Absolutely love this. The paintings are also very useful for stuff like this because we have some knives there, and we have some pans up there. Rounded chests down here at the corner. The rounded sides are very, very neat. And we have these half slabs, these side half slabs too, for for some uh, cupboards up there, which is pretty neat, and then even a hanging towel from that one. So absolutely love this mod. Very, very fun to play around with. If you've noticed too, we have some shutter looking things down here at the bottom. So all good there. Let's go up this staircase here. The upstairs now has some flowers along the windowsill here, along with plenty of paintings around the area. Lots of tables for lighting and whatnot. We've even got a mirror over here. It does not work, however. And then a big ol', I think that's supposed to be a rug, hanging from the ceiling there. So we have a bedroom along the back here. And we go in here, a table with a chessboard. You can even see all the chess pieces. I just go absolutely crazy over this mod. And a bookcase on your first walk in along with this big ol' sheet here. Separates the room into two parts. So we have the bedroom sort of part back here with the actual beds. And then a nightstand with a light on it. So hanging uh, clothes as well. And if you look very closely, that's actually animated. So it's, I, I guess it's supposed to be blowing in the wind or something, which doesn't necessarily make sense since we, we don't have any wind coming in here. We have glass there, but nonetheless, let's go back out. Let's take a look at the rest of the upstairs here. We've got another staircase going up to the attic. Some more decorations in here. Back here, we have the staircase that came out by the front door right there. And then across from that, we have yet another bedroom and this one has i think that's a sheepskin or maybe a wolfskin on the floor we've got some playing cards up on that table and then we've got some clothes hanging again a random chair sitting around here and then a wardrobe over here and again this bed is separated out from the rest of the room so huge painting on the back by the way very very detailed that is so so neat anyway let's go ahead let's go up this staircase now to the last part of this house some paintings going up that one being a crust and you come up here, and it's basically a library. So, tooled around with what I wanted to do up in this attic area for a long time, and this is what I came up with. We have a hang chandelier, some paintings up there on the roof, and then we've got a sitting area, some random books sitting on a table there, along with plenty of bookcases around the area, some more seating in back, and then we also have some shelves down the middle, and some more seating on this side as well, with some random books sitting around. So, anyway, hopefully you all have enjoyed. This Tudor house is extremely fun to build. If we come out to the front here, yeah, we're going to definitely get more of these in the area. In last episode, we did the garden area here as long as well as, rather, uh, this sort of dock area, pier area, whatever you want to call it, and the store down there. So this house, a little bit different to build than the rest, but it all fits together very, very well. So anyway, hopefully you all have enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.